Hello, welcome to the first video for the tutorial for the flax sweater. So we are preparing to knit this sweater. It's an Aran weight and it's by Tin Can Knits. The link will be down below for you to get this pattern if you haven't already got it. I suggest you get the pattern yourself before you watch this video so you can look at the pattern and follow along and make any notes that you want to. So we want to knit this sweater. The first thing we need to know when we knit a pattern is what size we want. So this pattern comes in a lot of sizes and it says here, and this is very important, the table lists finished garment measurements. So this is not your measurement, but it's the measurement the garment is going to be. So what I suggest is that you choose your favorite sweater out of your wardrobe that fits you the best and actually measure that to find out what measurement that sweater is. Forget about shop sizing and what you are in a shop, just think about what do you like the feel of best and then measure that and that is the size you want to go for. So on this I went for I went for the small the medium but I think I'm gonna go for the small next time because it does come up as what I call a relaxed fit. So it fits, but it's more relaxed, but if you've seen things I've made before, you'll know that I generally go for a tighter fit. So I'm gonna go for the smaller one this time. So it's got the chest measurement there. So if you just go by what chest measurement you want. If you want, like myself, I'm a pear shape, so I tend to use two different sizes. So I'll be a smaller size on the top and then go graduate up to the bigger size at the bottom. If you watch my videos when I made this jumper, I did that. But because this is a relaxed fit, it did actually come up a little bit too big at the bottom. So I took it back and just made it one size. So this is why this time I'm going to make it a size smaller on top, but then the same size at the bottom, the bigger size up. So that it will it'll fit me the same as this one because this one's perfect. At the bottom for me it's not tight but it's not too baggy so I just want to replicate that if you're the opposite and you tend to be broader on the shoulders but then slimmer on the hips and you don't like it being baggy around your hips then I suggest you go for the size that fits you on the top and then maybe grade down so it goes down to a smaller size at the bottom when we come to the waist then I'll talk about that when we're actually doing it so when we've decided, so say I'm doing the medium size, when we decide what size, then if we follow it across to that side, it says to, it's yardage, and that will tell me that I need 1,050 yards of the yarn to make that sweater in that size. So when we're looking at our yarn on the ball band, it will always tell you on this one it says Aran weight and it will tell you how much you get in that ball for metres or yards. So then you'll know how many yards to get, how many balls to get for that yardage. It's usually similar but sometimes due to different components of how the yarn is made up it can be a different weight so it's always worth checking. So I am going to be using on this one, well this one I've used before, this has got 20% wool and it's mainly acrylic and I this is the King Cole Fashion Aran which is really nice, it's really warm and obviously we're moving into nicer weather so I thought I'd rather do something in a cotton this time. So this one is a new one out and it's called Genie and it's Denim Look by Stylecraft. And it's Aran weight and it's made 60% cotton and 40% cream and acrylic. So that's the yarn I'm going for. Obviously, like I say, it all depends to what country you're living in, when you want to wear it. Choose whatever you like to choose. <laughs> so as long as it's an Aran weight, Aran worsted weight, it should be. It says on here and I'll show you for the materials. It's got yarn, it says worsted Aran, so in the UK we call it Aran, but I think in America we call it worsted. 
I don't know what you call it in Australia. I hope it's nothing different to that. <laughs> so that's what you need to look for. And it's a 10 ply basically. A DK weight is an 8 ply. This is 10 ply. So you've got the fingering. The thin one we use for socks is a 4 ply. So this is a 10 ply. So it's a lot thicker. Which means that the sweater is going to knit up much quickly. Much quickly. Quicklier. <laughs> It's going to be a much quicker jumper. So yes, it's not going to take forever to knit, which is good. When you're starting out, you want results. So I did, as I say, I like to have variegated. It makes it more interesting for me to knit. So it's up to you if you want to go for a plain or a variegated, whatever suits you and what you enjoy. I'm actually going for three different colours. I'm going to do a bit of colour blocking on mine. So I'm going to be doing... The light denim at the top, moving on to like stonewashed denim, and then the dark denim at the bottom. So just three big blocks of colour, and then I'm going to have smaller stripes down the sleeves. So I'm making it up as I go along, in true Tina style, and I'll see how it is. <laughs> but I just thought it'd be fun to mix it up, as I say, these are a range of yarns that have come out that I really loved when I first saw them and they feel really good so I thought yeah I'm just going to have a play with those so that's what you need to look for the Aran and as I say this is Aran weight is 230 yards in a ball so I have five balls so 500 grams is what I've got but as I said yours is going to be totally different because there's all different yardage depending on what size you're doing. You may be doing a child's size. So, moving on to the needles we're going to need. So you will need a 4mm and a 5mm needle. And they need to be in 24 two different lengths for the different purposes. It also says DPNs, which is the double pointed needles when you're doing something in the round, but that's for the sleeves. But like we do with the socks, I will put down what size circular needles because I don't do DPNs. I can't be bothered with DPNs. Four different needles to go round a circle. No, just give me one needle that I just go round, 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 round. Much easier. So I shall put below what needles you need. You will need four. I'm sorry about that. That is a bit of investment. But once they're in your toolkit for knitting, you will be using them again. So it's not like a one-off purchase. You'll be using them and then reusing them through your knitting career. So they are worth spending your money on. Not nice to spend to start with, but the next project you do... I think actually, I'm hoping, when we come to do the Harvest cardigan, it uses the same size needles, so you will be using those again for that one, so you will get more use out of them. For the cardigan, you will only need to buy the yarn. You will also need stitch markers and you will need quite a few stitch markers because you will need them for doing the um, increases for the sleeves for the raglan. You will also need them, it says it's optional but I needed them as well for doing this garter stitch because it's easy to be a stitch out when going down the garter just to keep you in check when you're doing that. So you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, eight stitch markers but they don't have to be proper stitch markers you can just use a different colour yarn so if I'm using this I could have just a bit of bright pink just tied in a knot and that would be a stitch marker it would just be indicating to me where it is don't feel you have to go out and get nice stitch markers they are lovely to have and if you want to buy them go and treat yourself but it's not necessary if you want to keep the cost down then just use some of your leftover sock yarn or something just make a little knot just as long as you've got little circles put on your needle that'll be fine so i shall put all that below for you and 
the first video we should be doing I should be doing a swatch so it's just a case of knitting up a small square of your yarn just to check that your gauge is right because whereas doing other like do cows it didn't matter the size when you're doing your jumper because it's so big if your gauge isn't right it could be way off and so we want to make sure that your gauge is right so it's going to be the size you want it to be at the end so nobody likes doing a gauge swatch we all want to just start doing the jumper and get it or go in but it is really important so that will be the next one so next time you join me for the next video please have your needles at the ready and your yarn and we just do a little swatch to get going so until next time get busy gathering all your things together and we shall do that sweater soon oh it's so exciting i'm excited i hope you are <laughs> see you soon bye